Hello guys. So we are outside today, unless you can't tell. I'm just informing you that that's where we are. And we are going to be picking some stuff to dye papers. But uh, we are going to pick what we call rien fauna. I have to look it up. If I looked it up, it's in the description below what it, what it is we're picking. Uh, so I'm going to start with rien fauna that I have there. I'm going to put the note back in the pocket and hang on. Okay. Uh, so this is the plant we're looking for. Now I was looking online and some said you only use the flower and others said you use the whole plant. I'm going to use the whole plant because why not? Uh, so I'm going to open my little bag and I'm going to start picking. I don't like the smell of these so it's going to be interesting to see what happens to the paper. Um, they say it's going to be like light green yellow. Uh, and I know my mom uh, dyed uh, like wool yarn and she used these and um, it was um, yeah like um, greenish yellow it wasn't a yellow green it was a greenish yellow uh, so it's gonna be interesting because I'm the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm kind of tired of coffee dyed paper. I love the look of it, don't get me wrong, and I'm still using it, but I'm just tired of doing the same thing. I've been doing a lot of coffee dyeing, uh, onion peel dyeing, tea dyeing, all of that stuff lately. So I figured let's do some, let's excavate some plants. <laughs> and I know I have a lot of these guys over here, and they're growing in places where they shouldn't grow, so I don't have no problem picking them. Uh, okay, so we are back. Are we recording? I hope so. I think so. So I picked uh, a lot of them uh, and I'm almost empty here. There's still some over there, but yeah, I'm leaving them for now. Uh, I have what I need. This will definitely fill up my pot on some more. Hi guys, so I don't have my headset on. I'm just recording with my phone real quick because I can't wait. I needed to share right away. I'm doing a video about this later on, but but um, I'm so excited. So this might not look like it's dyed a whole lot with a whole lot of color. Now, if I put this paper up next to it, do you see the color? It's greenish yellow i love this color I'm, I'm in love with this color i'm in love with this color i'm happy but the dye really looks like pea <laughs> it's not a very pretty dye now it's not a whole lot in there yet anymore but you know i still have some left i don't want to pile too high i have multiple multiple layers here already you can see some of them here but I don't want to pile too high because it's really damp now. It's it's uh, we're getting colder nights and all of that stuff. So I live way up north, so it's not a hot summer anymore here. Uh, anyway, so I don't want to pile too many papers on top because it's gonna take forever to dry. It's probably gonna take two days now. I do have more of these and picked. Uh, I filled the pot up and. Filled up with water up until about here. Put it on the stove. Put the lid on. Let it boil for a bit. I don't know how long because I lost track of time. And uh, then let it sit to cool off a little bit. Then I strained it off with one of these sifting thingies. Um, so I strained it off into a pitcher and poured it in here. And I just did the paper and put them over there. And I have a lot of stuff in between, so I have these, uh, and they already started to give pattern. Ah, I'm excited. And I have some curtains in between. As you can see, there are still under all the way down here. And in the bottom, I have envelopes. Oops, sorry. 
there i have envelopes in the bottom yay and i didn't clean the plastic from last time i dyed stuff so i hope it doesn't go through but anyway that could give some nice interesting spots and stuff i'm excited we're going to talk more about this in another video i just wanted to pop in really quick and just show you what i've been doing